Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? We talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. Enjoy. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This about Andrew. They, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Was... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Doesn't matter. Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> we can go that far. He was like a... Uh, I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram grams, about our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know, he was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care.
Now what? Patience is a virtue. Oh. See that? Well, there it is. Flash put you at a standstill. Don't forget you catch your feelings in my poster. It's mixed with passion, and this what happens when you fall with a great. I'm just saying, I ain't calling it a fate. Uh, time is business, so I don't scrape it. Just scrape for seconds that are triple rhythms. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. <laughs> so what now? Next time, then, V. Corporate God's willing.
Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it. Not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one, Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands, and she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at nabbing Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Hmm. Can't be trusted if her clan banished her. Sorry, just not willing to pay you for help like that. Actually, she walked away. Said it was about the family, its future, nomad ideals, blah, 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 blah. I stopped listening a few words in. Thought you preferred to know who you're dealing with. I know enough. Besides, when someone starts spouting ideals, it's probably about something else. Power, usually. Fortunately, not my biz, not yours. 
Pan Am's capable and stands to help you. That's all you need to know. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No fee. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out All of clear. here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Ah, shit! Get you anything? Get you have Hang on just a little longer, Chook. Ripper's on the way. <laughs> Gonna puke. This Pan Am? V here. V who? V where? How did you even get this number? I'm someone at the afterlife. Mm -hmm. So what is it you want? Actually, wanted to talk about what you want. Is that so? The merch you lost, and your ride. You want it back? Let's talk. Hmm. Is that so? Huh. Broken confidentiality. I might have known. The rail freight yard on Bonita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan. And they call you B. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. 
Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. If you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamned mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, inform your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this is mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for Gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Any chance they might help us? In Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. You know, used to ride with nomads, too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Yep. Backer clan. Back in the day. Didn't work out between us, so I landed in Night City. So we have something in common after all. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. 
I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good looker. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that raffin. Did you know that? But seriously? Didn't realize Nash was raffin? No. The sneak forgot to show me his shiv card. Don't you keep track of who's in the area? The rates, right? Until now, they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. I see you know things. No mad blood. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm-hmm. Who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Not a babysitter. Partner in crime. Mm-hmm. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance, but 
but Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want, and take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? You'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. Was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers.
We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Ugh. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Buzz. You, wait. 
wait for him here. Get good and ready. The show starts now. Let there be light. Grab the car shop. The driver has it. Look for the girl with the mohawk. Colorful bunch. I'll take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? At last. Wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Sixth Street away from Just listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. <sighs> All right, so where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him.
Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I took my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. What bitter cold bitch that rogue. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh, <laughs> never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Pan Am! How's Nash? Doesn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll! That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Sixth Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. 
You still have a chance to piss me off. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. But this place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh, no. The Shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Alda Caldas. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Had to leave my clan, too. Oh, yeah, I remember. Backer family, right? Mm-hmm. Then I came to Night City. Saw my chance. Took it. And? And I lost almost everything. Shit. That's comforting. Let's talk about something else. Anything else. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um, uh, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... calls for a... little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No, I will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few wings. Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Good night. Mm-hmm.